I'm vlogging. It's boring. I'm clean. That's you, Mommy. Hello, everyone. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but I'm going to do another day of not editing very much because that helped me so much last night to not have to do like really... Oh, I just burped. Excuse me. See, should I even edit that out? I don't know. But um, it helped me so much last night to not spend like five hours editing and just spend like an hour. So I'm going to not edit this video as much um, again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're getting close to Christmas and I just like when I need that extra time to be like wrapping presents and planning and whatever. So, but I still want to vlog. I love vlogging and it's, I've missed it so much. I don't like miss any days. It's so much fun, but yeah, I need to not edit as much. So I'm not going to edit very much, but there's so much I want to show you. So I, uh, have a lot of Christmas wrapping to do. And last night I was wrapping a present and I was like, Oh my gosh, I need to tell the world how excited I am about this one particular present. So I filmed on my iPhone and I was going to put it in this vlog, but then I was like, Oh, I should show you guys a bunch of the stuff that I got for the kids. I'm wrapping Christmas presents tonight and I have to show you this before I wrap it up because I'm so excited. I got Maisie this little stroller, but it's a twin stroller. I think she's gonna love it. I'm so excited because the boys are always running around the house with their freaking cars and they have little cars you can sit on and roll around and she likes to do it too but she loves dolls so much and they go on walks like almost every single day and so I just feel like she's gonna be so excited about this. I'm so excited. I got them a lot of fun stuff and um I'm just excited so that's what I'm gonna do. So right now I'm printing out some pictures like stickers to put on gifts. I bought these little sheets of like circle stickers and I'm just using a regular printer so it's not like the best quality but see the kids on the different stickers and um that way I put these on the gifts because my kids can't read just yet I mean Flynn can read his letters and some words but um this way the kids can experience picking out a gift for someone else and giving someone a gift because that's the spirit of Christmas and the holiday season is all about um, giving and so I learned this from my sister-in-law actually she does this with her kids and I think it's brilliant because then you can experience giving to people and not just receiving and you can start that at a young age so I'm printing out little stickers for my kids to see on the gifts to give to each other and I'm gonna start wrapping in a second there's so much I want to show you and so much I want to tell you so sorry it's not gonna be very edited but here we go hey everyone today's been a very hectic day so I've not filmed anything first of all but second of all I feel like my brain's going to explode a little bit but who cares about that? What's important here is presents. So I already showed you some of the things I got because I got them when I did that Marshall's haul. So if you wanna go see some of them like this birthday cake, which I know the twins are gonna freak out over this. I'm so excited about that. But some of the things I haven't shown you yet are this monster truck blanket. It's all folded up, but I promise it's a big, cool, awesome monster truck blanket that Wesley's gonna freak out over. I got these peppermint bath bombs. Flynn loves bath bombs, so I think he's gonna be super excited about those. I already showed you these puzzles. I think I did at least. Showed you this RuPaul, the little RuPaul um, figurines for Maisie. They were on sale at Marshall's for $4. I was very excited about that. Wesley really likes unicorns right now. Like he's obsessed and he loves balls and things. So this thing is like you put the ball and then you squeeze it out and it pops out. He's gonna love that. We have, of course, Classic chalk is always important. And then there's a couple big ones over here. Hold on. Oh my gosh. Flynn is gonna freak out over this. I'm so excited. This is his favorite type of toy truck. It's a brooder. Um, and I found it at Marshall's, which means it was cheaper than it normally is. So I was really excited about that. And then Eric just got this for the boys. Oh my God, I can't even pick it up. It's huge. It's like a Monster Jam racetrack thing for Monster Trucks. It's huge. And then, I mean, I have a bunch of other stuff that like I've already wrapped and then more stuff coming today. And then one of their big gifts from me for all three of them is a little toy kitchen because they freaking love a toy kitchen. They have this little like barbecue thing and they play with it all the time. They love it. And so um, we used to have this beautiful, incredible toy kitchen set. And then in the move, it didn't survive. And so um, that was sad, but it was okay at the time because we were like, oh, Flynn wasn't that into toy kitchens at the time and the babies were too little, but now they love it. So I'm, I'm really hoping they like the toy kitchen set and then other random stuff. I don't even remember, but I'm gonna open more boxes and packages tonight and then start wrapping. I love 
giving gifts and I especially love giving gifts to my kids obviously Christmas is so fun our family has always done like lots of presents but the majority of the stuff we give each other is like essentials because to me the best gift you can give someone is stuff that you don't have to then go shop for like toilet paper and toothbrushes and toothpaste and deodorant and like diapers and wipes all those things that, like you don't want to like have to oh, have to go get those again oh we're out of wipes again oh we need more toothpaste blah. like those are the kind of things that like when I'm gifted those on Christmas I'm like oh my god thank you like basically be getting the gift of not having to go run annoying errands is like the nicest thing ever so we do a lot of that in my family but anyway I am very excited to try to get a bunch of wrapping done tonight because Christmas is in literally a few days which is so freaking crazy I'm gonna get to wrapping actually I'm not I have to wait till the babies go to sleep I'm gonna go play with the babies and by babies I mean Flynn and the twins and none of them are babies but I just will always call them my babies um I'm gonna go play with them and then I'll wrap after they go to bed okay I haven't been vlogging much today but I did get some cute footage of Flynn and the twins just playing tonight like I was just they were just being so sweet it was just so cute so I just started filming then Flynn was playing catch with Eric and that was really cute and amazing when I it was just cute footage but I didn't talk during it or preface any of it so I'm gonna show it to you now but it's just it's really cute so here's some footage of the kids playing I play. yeah. I Whoa! Flynn is I building a tower for Wesley to crash down right Flynn uh -huh. yay Wesley you want to try again Whoa, he's the champion yeah. Whoa! Whoa! I think Macy's busy. Macy, you wanna knock it down? Macy, can you knock it down? Knock it down, Macy. Can, do you need help? Whoa, whoa, whoa! That was awesome. Okay. All right, Flynn, your turn. After all the hard work for your brother and sister. Whoa, major crash. That was a cool one, a tummy crash. Uh-huh. I love tummy crashes. <laughs> all right, Wessie's turn again. With Gonna knock down the truck. tower? So cool, dope. Ready? Dope! <gasps> wow, you really did it that time. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Good catch! Oh! oh you did it. Thanks, man. Yes! What? Oh. <gasps> wow. <laughs> You're gonna bounce one or throw one? Bounce. Okay, ready? Okay. Oh yeah, my gosh. Perfect. That was perfect, yeah. <laughs> oh, monkey in the middle over okay. here. Okay, now we're gonna do it with Wesley too. Wesley, okay? ready? One, two, ready? One, two. I don't think you're ready. We do. Three. Okay. <laughs> okay, Wesley's turn. Get it, Wesley. Get Good. it, Wesley. Wesley, throw it to Whoa. Good job. Oh, you threw you a ball, you came back with high heel shoes. <laughs> Put your hands out, ready? <laughs> Good job! <laughs> Good job! Can you throw it to Dada? Wait, it's Look at Wesley's little Christmas tree he keeps doing, his little Christmas tree pose. <laughs> with the one leg. <laughs> What's going on? You're so cute, Wes. I'm gonna throw it to Flynn, okay? Okay. Can you throw it to Flynn? Throw it to Flynn. Whoa. Good throw, throw Maisie. Anyway. The kids are asleep now, obviously, and I'm going to show you some of the other gifts that I opened because I just opened a couple packages and I got a few more gifts for the kids, but these are only gifts for Flynn and Wes because Maisie, most of her gifts are already wrapped. So if you want to see what Maisie got and all the other stuff the kids got, you're going to have to wait till Christmas and watch Christmas morning. But I'm going to show you some of these and then I'm going to wrap them up. So I got these little Monster Jam or Monster Truck, I guess, Hot Wheels maybe, color revealing, like little color changing things. Like you put them little monster trucks in water and they change colors or something. And Flynn likes these and so I got one for Flynn and one for Wes. And then for this Gravedigger lunchbox because Flynn has a little school class that he goes to once a week and he has a lunchbox. But like how cool that he has a Gravedigger one. I'm so glad I'm 
and then he's gonna flip over this. So Grave Digger is his favorite monster truck and he was so excited to find out that there are different Grave Diggers throughout history. Like, so this is all the different Grave Diggers there's ever been. So this one's from 1982, 1986, the year I was born. And 1996, 2005, 1984. Like, so they're all the different ones. And Flynn thinks that's super cool. So I didn't know that it came in a kit like this and so Flynn's gonna freak out. I got a bunch of stuff for Maisie, obviously, but like I said, I already wrapped it. In the package I just opened, I got something for me. So, you know, a few vlogs ago, I did some marker crafting content where I just like tried out some new markers. I know that was like maybe bizarre content to put in one of my vlogs, but like I really loved any, I love anything that has to do with crafts. Well, I found this thing and I'm so excited about it. I know it's for kids. Don't cover me. Mini marker sprayer. Now, I had something like this when I was little. Like when I was like, well, maybe not little, I was probably a teenager to be honest, but um, pre-teen age. But it wasn't like a thing where it was like a little sprayer, squeezer thingy like that. You would put this like device over your marker and you would literally blow like, like that into it. And it would spray essentially your spit air and mixed with the color and it would spray all over whatever you were coloring on and it looks really cool. So I haven't seen one of those in a long time so I was very excited to see there's an updated version that doesn't require spit and blowing air out of your mouth but I'm gonna try it and I'm very excited. I don't know if I'm gonna try it tonight, I probably won't have time but I'm really excited about this. Okay, it's the next day, I didn't vlog anymore. I just took showers, so my hair is like half frizzy dry. Apologies for that. Um, but I wanted to try out my little marker blower thingy mabobber um, while I talk to you guys for a second. So, oh my God, Daisy loves paper. I don't know if I'm actually gonna use this, but if you put paper on the ground, Daisy will lay on it. She's like, paper is my favorite thing in the world. She's like purring, freaking out. She loves paper. Daisy. <laughs> Okay, so it came with this little thing and stencils. <laughs> She's freaking out. Okay, you just so happy to have paper? Yes, you love paper, don't you? It's your favorite thing. Put this in here, you lock this. I know, I know, I know you have paper. I'm so happy for you. And then you pump this thing. So first I'm just gonna test it just straight on a paper and not use the stencils. <gasps> I'm so excited, look at this. That's so fun. Okay, so now I wanna try a stencil. These stencils are kinda weird, I'm not gonna lie. Obviously, I need to like fill these in with some sort of a purple or pink or whatever and it looks like total butt, but you get the idea. It's just a fun thing to like spray. It's like speckled. Do you see how cool that is? I should probably go in, like I feel like it would be cool if I left all these black so it was like actual sunset, you know what I mean? Maybe they should be like a dark purple or pink or I don't know. So that's fun. Flynn will have fun with that. And so I'm... God, I have some bad news, guys. I'm sorry to tell you. I'm going to take a little bit of a break. It's a holiday weekend. We got Christmas on Monday, Christmas Eve is Sunday, and I just want to fully immerse myself in the holidays and not think about editing and posting and all that stuff. I love vlogging. I don't want to break from vlogging. I've, I love it, and I missed it so much, and so I'm really happy to be back doing that. Um, but I'm going through just a lot and I just want to fully immerse myself in the holiday season and make sure that I fully am in the moment. And so I'll still be vlogging and I'll still be filming. I'm just not going to post it until next week. So I'm going to miss you guys and miss your comments every day. So leave comments on this video so that I can come back and read them whenever I'm missing, you know, staying up late, just reading all of your comments. But I will post again in a few days. I just want to take the next few days to really focus on just my kids and making sure it's a magical holiday weekend. We've had a rough year. Why am I crying? We've had a, a, a long, uh, hard year. And so I just really want to make sure that we end it with making sure that we can wrap up 
this rough year with like just really positive, wonderful family moments. And I don't want to be thinking about editing or work or posting or any of that in the back of my mind. So obviously I'll still be filming everything because that is how I enjoy things and how I immerse myself in the moment is um, by filming. And let me just tell you, there are so many things I've been reminded of, of why I love vlogging and some of the reasons that it, like I, I think it is such a huge part of who I am and why I'm so appreciative of it. One, I love the sense of community with you guys, but also like because I'm a mom of three young kids, there's a lot of mom guilt of like I'm missing out on certain moments. If I'm focused on one kid, I'm missing moments with the other kids. And I just feel a lot of guilt about that. It's so different going from and just having one child who can fully immerse all of yourself into 24 seven to th having to spread yourself um, between three different children and spreading your time between three different kids. It's a big adjustment and I'm still adjusting to it. And the babies are two. And vlogging again has been so lovely because at the end of the night when I'm uploading my footage, I see moments, <laughs> I'm gonna cry. I see moments that I missed in in the moment with some of my kids, like I'll be talking to Maisie in the vlog and then I'll see Wesley having this cute little moment saying something cute that I missed in the moment because I was so focused on Maisie that then I can, when I watch it back, I get to experience that little moment that I had missed or like I'll be doing something with Flynn and then I'll realize I missed something with Maisie and I'll see her do it in the background, or, you know, something like that. Like I'm so grateful for um, just vlogging in general and, and filming my life in general. I love it. It's so, I just love it, but I'm so grateful for that. That is something that um, I missed a lot when I was taking a break. I'm definitely just rambling at this point, but um, the point is I'll be vlogging <laughs> over the next few days. There's so much that's gonna be happening this weekend. I'm doing my annual Christmas cookie party on Christmas night where I bake a billion little treats. And I saw a lot of comments asking me how I make my chocolate butterscotch rice crispy treats thingies that I make. And I will show you guys that recipe, but I have my Christmas cookie party. We have Christmas Eve and all of our festivities. I still have to take the picture of all of us under the light arch, which I've been wanting to do all week, but it's been pouring rain. Today's the first day it's not raining. So maybe we can do it today. You know, all these little like family traditions and things that we're going to do so i'll be filming all of it um and just stockpiling it all and then next week you'll get to see all that stuff so um thank you so much for watching me over the last month and i will see you guys in just a few days but i hope you have a beautiful wonderful christmas holiday or whatever you celebrate if you celebrate if you don't celebrate if you're sad this holiday season and the holidays i know a lot of people are expressing that the holidays just kind of make them feel sad and lonely if that is your situation i'm so sorry and i hope you find peace and happiness on a day that brings you sadness i just want and wish for everyone to just have a beautiful happy positive peaceful holiday weekend and i love you all so much and i will see you in a few days okay bye everyone